The Magic Pear Tree, a folk tale from China, retold by Rosie Dickens, illustrated by Matt Ward. Learning English through short stories. This story is about selfish man named Shen. A hungry beggar. A kind woman. Some yummy pears. And a little bit of magic. But first, you need to learn some vocabulary. This is a little house. Inside the house, it has roof, wall, column. This is a big garden. Outside the garden, inside the garden, it has flower, butterfly, bird. This is a tree. The tree has golden pear, leaves. Stem and roots. This is the market. The market has fruits, fish, sour, buyer, vegetable. He is eating. This is a pear, and the pear has seed. The beggar uses his mouth to eat. Let's read the story. The magic pear tree. Shen lived in a little house with a big garden. There was a tree in the garden. The tree grew sweet golden pears. There were too many pears for Shen, but he didn't want to share them. I'll sell them to the market, he thought. I'll make lots of money. So Shen took a box of pears to the market. Pears for sale! A beggar stopped to look. Please, may I have a pear? He said. Can you pay? Asked Shen. I don't have any money, said the beggar. Then go away! Shouted Shen. A kind woman heard Shen shouting. How mean! Can't you give away one pear? She asked Shen. That man is hungry, and you have enough to share. No! Shouted Shen. Then I'll buy a pear and give it to him myself. Said the woman. Thank you, said the beggar. That's kind of you. He ate the pear quickly. He spat out the seeds. 
Mmm, yummy! He said happily. Now it's my turn to give you a pair. Aha! Cried Shen. You do have money. No, said the beggar. The woman shook her head. How will you get another pair? The beggar smiled. I'll show you, he said. A crowd came to watch. The beggar dug a hole and dropped in the seeds. May I have some hot water? He said. A tea seller gave him a teapot. The beggar poured hot tea into the hole. The crowd gasped. Look, look, a shoot! The shoot grew and grew. It must be magic. It grew into a tree with green leaves and golden pears. The beggar picked a pear and gave it to the woman. Mmm, yummy! She said happily. The beggar turned to the crowd. Does anyone else want a pear? Me, me, me! They shouted. The beggar picked pear after pear. Soon the tree was bare. Everyone got one, even selfish Shen. Yummy. Now no one was watching the beggar. He chopped down the tree and strolled away. Suddenly Shen looked around. Oh no! All his pears has gone, and the wooden box was chopped to pieces. It was a trick! He yelled. Those pears the beggar picked, they were mine. The beggar turned my box into a tree by magic. That crafty beggar. But the crowd just laughed. Next time, perhaps you'll be less selfish. They said. The end. The magic pear tree, a folk tale from China, retold by Rosie Dickens, illustrated by Matt Ward. Learning English through short stories. This story is about selfish man named Shen. A hungry beggar. A kind woman. Some yummy pears. And a little bit of magic. But first, you need to learn some vocabulary. This is a little house. Inside the house, it has roof, wall, column. This is a big garden. Outside the garden, inside the garden, it has flower, butterfly, bird. This is a tree. The tree has golden pear leaves. Stem and fruits.
This is the market. The market has fruits, fish, seller, buyer, vegetable. He is eating. This is a pear, and the pear has seed. The beggar uses his mouth to eat.